All right, it's your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Get Your House in Order. All right, get your house in order. Now, when I say get your house in order, of course, I'm talking about yourself. All right, you got to get your spiritual house in order, get your spirit right with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because now is definitely the time to do it. Because there's a lot of things that's already in the air that they say is going to go down in 2024. All right, and we already know that 2024 is a few days away. And of course, the scriptures say no man knows when the day of the Lord is, but we know that we are close because of the signs that he has given us. All right. So there's, there's talk in the air, you know, with uh, digital I, digital IDs being implemented in um, Kenya. All right. And we already know that a lot of and then, yeah, that's another thing. A lot of these countries are getting away from the American dollar. And they're uh, pushing toward their digital currencies as well. And as we all know, the digital currencies are going to lead to the RFID chip, all right? The MOTB, because that's the end-all, be-all. As soon as the MOTB is mandatory, that's what things are going to happen. That's what things are going to speed up. And then we expect Yahweh Shai to return very soon. Not long after everything is mandatory, all right? As soon as the chip is mandatory, we expect Yahweh Shai to return very, very soon. All right, like Apostle Tahar always says, he says he predicts us to be within that trouble from one to three months, all right? One to three months. But we'll we'll see what happens, all right? We'll see what happens. But, you know, the scriptures tell us that, you know, the, uh, the Most High is going to speed up the days because if uh, if not, then no flesh shall be saved, all right? So we already know that things are going to happen quick. And that's good because we want to get up out of here. But we already know it's good. those days are going to feel long just for the simple fact that we're going to have to suffer throughout those days. But it's okay. And this is why, you know, uh, we're, go we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do now, which is getting our house in order, which is getting ourselves right with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, all right? So let's start off with this, with 2nd Andrews chapter 14, and go to verse 13. It says, Now, therefore, set thine house in order, and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, all right? Anything that's giving you trouble in the flesh right now, you got to work on that, man. You got to get to the point where you can defeat it because if you can't you got to let that weak nature overtake you and that can cause you to not be a part of the salvation all right so you got to set your house in order you got to get yourself together man look in the mirror and tell yourself what do i need to work on and you work on it man verse 15 it says to set aside the thoughts that are most heavy in city and haste thee to flee from these times for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So the more, you know, <clears throat> so like you, the more and more we go into the future, the worse and worse this world is going to get. And this is why, you know, Yahweh Shai has to make a move. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has to make things happen in this earth so this place will not continue to uh, dwell anymore man we got to get you know this place got to go because this place continues to rise well not rise but this place continues to just exist all right wickedness is going to increase all right and we already know wickedness is going to increase as well because of the uh downfall of america society all right you know the economic crisis all right uh uh the the rumors of wars that's going on EMP attacks, threats that's going on back and forth between the different countries. All right, famine is getting ready to happen. Martial law is getting ready to happen. All of these things are getting ready to take place in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. All right, and in order for you to really be prepared for that, you have to have your house in order. You have to really be strong in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So this is what you need to do right here, man. Let's get a... Uh, 
Let's get Sirach. It's gonna be a quick lesson. Let's get Sirach chapter five, verse seven. And it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance, all right? So don't put off from day to day. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, meaning don't wait to get right with the Lord. You hear these words, you, you hear the videos, you see the videos, you see in the brothers on the highways and the byways, you see in the apostles, the elders, the bishops, all right? They're giving out the warning, all right? The information is out here, it's at our fingertips every single day, all right? So now that you have this information, it's time for you to really take this information in and take it seriously. Like the scriptures say, eat the whole roll, man. It's time to get back right with you. How about showing you how shot? Because we don't have that much time. Next year could be the year, the year after, or maybe the year after. But the, I, man, I don't see it going past 2026. I, I I really can't because it was a lot of things that happened this year alone, man. Real talk. So next year could definitely be a, a prophetic year like you know, like Apostle Zahar and a, and a lot of brothers have, have been saying lately. Next year could be a very, very prophetic year. Next year could be the year where they begin to push out the MOTB. And then that could flow into 2025. And then in 2025, they can get it to the point where it's mandatory. And that, you know, and it seemed like all of that would flow together too because next year is the, the election for the president and everything. So a lot of things that's going down. Then they get, you know, fit that in there with the chip. And then as soon as they go into 2025, they can have things happen, make things mandatory, uh, crash the society, all right, and try to usher in that NWO. All of those things can happen by the end of next year. It could be the middle of next year. You never know. But all we know is we have the Lord. So now that we know that we have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we got to do what's right, man. It ain't no more excuses. We can't be out here, you know, uh, half assing it, man. Even Yahweh Shai said, he said he don't require, he doesn't want anybody that's cold or lukewarm. He said, if you lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of his mouth. All right? So at the end of the day, man, we got to be on fire. Be on fire. Better yourself every single day, man. Let's get one last scripture and close it out. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahushai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahushai Hamashiach. All right? No man that war is entangling himself with the affairs of this life, <laughs> that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. All right. So we got to do what's right by the Lord. And what's that? We strive lawfully. Of course, we already know that following the commandments, statutes, and laws will not get us out of here. That's not going to get you saved. All right. Faith is because we can't keep the law perfect here. So faith is going to get you out of here. And that's why you got to endure this hardness as a good soldier. When a soldier goes into war, like I always like to say, when a soldier goes into war, man, a soldier already has it in the back of his mind that he may not make it back home because, because he has to go fight for his country. When the country go fight and, you know, they go overseas and everything like that, they have it in the back of their mind, oh, shit, you know, this might be my last time living because they got to go fight. But they do it anyway because they're fighting for a bigger cause. They're fighting for their home. This is exactly what we're doing in the spirit. We're fighting and pleading for the cause of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And, yeah, we'll go out there like soldiers and yes, if it's meant for us to die, then we'll do that. Because the scriptures say that some of us may have to go down that route. Some of us may have to become martyrs. But we will do that if it's necessary. Okay? If they pull us in a guillotine and they tell us to denounce Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, or else they're going to cut off our heads, guess what we're going to do? We're not going to denounce our Lord because we know that he is the power. 
He is the one that's bringing the trouble. He is the one that's going to save us out of the trouble. He's the one that's going to raise us up from the dead after they cut our head off with the guillotine. He's the one that's going to get us the victory, the palms in our hands. All right. So when these things happen, hey, we ready. We're going to go out there as soldiers, man. And like the scriptures say, the fishers are going to become hunters, man. Right now we're fishers of men, right? He's going to put that spirit upon us and he's going to give us that spiritual power when the time is right. Lord willing. And we're going to become true hunters, true soldiers <laughs> of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. So remember, don't entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. The things that's, things that's going on in this life is getting ready to pass away. These things are, are getting ready to not exist anymore, man. We're not going to remember this. The only way we're going to remember it is because of, you know, reading the scriptures or, or however it may be, you know, we get into the kingdom or whatever. But, you know, we get into the kingdom, we're not going to be thinking about this place, man. We're not going to be thinking about this place. This place was a big ass nightmare. We waited to wake up from this nightmare and finally live the, the in paradise, finally live in pleasure, in peace. All right. So before we get there, we have to endure hardness as a good soldier. So get your house in order. Look in the mirror, examine yourself. All right. And tell yourself this is what I need to do. You capitalize on it and you keep at it. Don't let go, man. We almost out of here. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth with their truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ra I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.